first tool being your fireflies.ai. Now, uh, I'm sure that most of you guys, you know, who are a part of Bishop organization, you would have noticed that when we have our internal calls, when we have our, you know, discussion calls, uh, you know, before people join, they have their fireflies, they have their otters that join the call. Uh, this is something that all of us have observed, you know, even in our upscaling session calls, wherein they send their otters first and then they join the call. Uh, now, this is not something that they do, uh, you know, manually. These, both of these tools, they are made in such a way that they join the call at the start of the call. They start recording your conversation and basis that conversation, they also make uh, a transcription of your conversation, right? But the transcription of it, unfortunately, when it comes to Fireflies, you will not be able to see the transcription because it's a paid feature, yeah? So let me quickly show you what you can do with Fireflies. You can add it to a certain live meeting that is going on. Let's just say if you have hopped on a tertiary link, which is shared to you by someone else, uh, and, you know, you cannot obviously have your fireflies going there because you are not a part of the original invite. Yeah, which is like a prerequisite for any fireflies to hop on a certain call. So here, what you need to do is you need to click on add to live meeting. You can put in the name of the meeting. You know, it appears there at the bottom of the Google Meet call. Uh, here you can add the meeting link, right, such as this one. You can add that and then you can click on start capturing. What it does is that within a minute, it will join that call. You just need to add that to that call so that it can start recording your conversation. Now, let me show you, you know, an example of how you can find uh, your transcription. So I uh, have got like a trial version here for Fireflies. So to show you as an example, uh, let me just open one of these things. Uh, Let's just say it's okay. Let's just say it's LG session that is conducted by Shai. So here you will find that there's just an overview of the entire meeting, right? You will find that Shai Nuku emphasized target targeting decision makers based on department wise hierarchies within companies. Examples like selling a document management system to law firms were discussed. So it's given a summary of the conversation, a very beautiful use case, right? But on the right side, you will find that it also gives you the transcript of the call. So all you need to do is copy the transcript and then you can go to chat GPT, paste it and ask chat GPT to make the minutes of meetings for you. So here, as an example, what I've done, I have just given one prompt, write minutes of meetings depending on the following transcript. And then I've pasted the transcript. I know I'm aware of the fact that there is a word limit to it. So for that, you will need to uh, use multiple platforms or what you can do is just uh, just stick with the word limit and you will be pasting, you know, different, different sections of the call separately and then combine them together and then get your MOM generated in detail. So here, what I've done is I've given the prompt right minutes of meeting depending on the following transcript. I've pasted the transcript and then what it does is that it gives you detailed meeting minutes. But now you will realize that it doesn't have the date, neither does it have the time, and neither does it have the location. So these are some of the things that you will need to fill in by yourself. They are not going to self-fill themselves. You will need to fill these fields. One thing I notice as a training manager on most of the occasions is that people miss out on these brackets. These are simple placeholders that you need to fill the information into. Yeah. Then you have the attendees, then you have the agenda, then you have the minutes which are recorded here, and you have the actionable items as well. Next meeting, again, you will notice that there's a placeholder here. You need to fill this field. And then the adjournment meeting concluded at so and so time with a word of thanks from all the attendees. So, after this, what you will do is go to copy. Whoever you want to send your MOM to, you will paste it, right? And yes, also one more thing, that is the right way of pasting your chat GPT output because one more observation I have made is 
if you copy paste like that, anyone who is who has an eye for detail, they can figure out the change in formatting, right? So if you get, uh, you know, your content copied from ChatGPT like that, it's probably one of the worst things that can happen to you if you know someone that you're writing this content to has an attention to detail. Uh, you know, uh, he has an eye for attention to detail, right? So you will notice that in the beginning, it has left some space and you cannot do anything about it. And even at the bottom. So the only way out for such situations is to select the whole content and then click on clear formatting or remove formatting. Once you do that, you will find that you can now normally treat this content because it is in its normal form. Yeah. Uh, so that was about transcript. Uh, uh, you know, from fireflies.ai.